temper against all contradictions. Ladies and gentlemen, there are still some people who ask the question, why a national cathedral? I want to proffer three reasons. Firstly, since gaining our freedom and independence from the British colonial power 62 years ago in 1957, Ghana has been spared civil war, famine, and epidemic. We're certainly no better than the other nations in our neighborhood who have been confronted with these challenges. But I believe it is by the grace of God that we're being preserved and sustained. And the construction of the cathedral will be an act of thanksgiving to the Almighty for his blessings, <laughs> favor, grace, and mercy on our nation. Secondly, 71% of the Ghanaian people adhere to the Christian religion, grouped under the various persuasions of the Christian faith. The interdenominational national cathedral will help unify the Christian community and thereby promote national unity and social cohesion. The Supreme Court of Ghana, in unanimously rejecting recently a challenge to the constitutionality of the cathedral project laid particular emphasis on this point in granting approval to the development of the project. Thirdly, I made a pledge to Almighty God that if he was gracious enough to grant my party, the new patriotic party and I, victory in the 2016 election after two unsuccessful attempts, I would help build a cathedral to his glory and honor. I'm determined to redeem this pledge. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, I need your help to do so. The cathedral will not just be another national monument adorning the skyline of Accra. It will be the rallying point for the Christian community to come together to worship, to pray, and to promote deep national conversations on the, the role of faith in building Ghana. It will house a Bible museum, even though not as big as this extraordinary venue for tonight's event. And it will be an iconic infrastructure for national, regional, and international pilgrimage and tourism. That is why we're trying to mobilize the Christian community, home and abroad, to join us in partnership to raise the needed resources to build the cathedral. Just as God prepared, prospered the prophet Nehemiah to rebuild the walls of Jerusalem, I'm prayerful that he will prosper us and make us succeed in our endeavor. I hope that the Ghanaian diaspora and all well-meaning friends of Ghana will support us in helping to bring this transcendental project to fruition. Ghana was born the same year we were born, in 1957. Ghana and South Korea had their independence dates on the same day, the same year. But look where South Korea is. South Korea is by nature not a Christian nation. South Korea by nature are Buddhists. China, which is the next large world economy, they have stated that in the next 10 years, 20% of the Chinese people will be multi-millionaires. That means almost 450 million Chinese will be millionaires. They are not Christians, they are Buddhists. The Japanese are Shintoists. Those in Indonesia and Malaysia are Muslims. It's not about praising God and hallelujah and a great thank you, Jesus. It's about possessing an understanding as to how things work.